going on, ladies and gentlemen? And welcome back to another episode of Mavitech. Tech. All right, so the Nintendo 64 brought me so much fun as a child. Not only did it challenge me in certain games, but it also brought my friends and family together as it is one of, and if not the best multiplayer consoles of freaking all time. This is where Nintendo started their reign of amazing 3D games and I have to show my appreciation to them by giving you guys my top 10 games on the Nintendo 64 in no particular order. This was a tough one. So without further ado, let's start. To a rock. In Turok, you play as a Native American warrior named Turok on his quest to stop evil from using ancient powerful weapons to destroy the universe. Killing dinosaurs, soldiers, and even- Freaking, what the heck? And even demons while using powerful weaponry ranging from a bow and arrow to high powerful rifles. Turok was easily one of the first great first person shooters we've ever seen in gaming. Ever. With fun platforming and exploration, Turok is the greatest dinosaur hunting game ever. Like ever. Now, if we could just... Yoshi's Story Yoshi's Story is simply a story about Yoshi. The Yoshi are enjoying life, eating fruits and whatnot, lounging around, when Baby Bowser comes to town and messes everything up. See, Yoshi's Story is platforming at its finest having you run through levels, collecting fruits, and restoring peace to the now storybook-esque land. If you're mad or sad or depressed or anything, I definitely recommend playing this game and I promise you, it will brighten up your day. Check this out. Pick me! Pick me! Mario Party Series. As I couldn't put each individual game from the series in the top list, I had to kind of include them all into one collective bunch so it's mario party one two and three and these games were absolutely freaking fun picking your favorite character battling it out on your favorite boards hitting the dice block and getting a one landing on a red spot and then mini games it's all about the mini games man oh yeah did anyone else notice how much of a dick luigi was no matter what the difficulty was why? why? Why did- what? what? Mario Party could either strengthen or destroy friendships, and it is simply the greatest party game you could ever play. I love playing- Why don't you shut the fuck up and play me if you think you're so good? I didn't say I was good or anything like that. Actually, where the heck did you come from? You haven't even been here. Yo, go back to doing your titles and zip your freaking mouth. I'm so tired of- Excuse me? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? You little fuck boy. I'm never wow. in your videos anymore anyway, so who cares? It's like, it's like that? It's like that? Alright. Alright. Just do your job. I'm done. Just do your freaking job. Just do, just do your job. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Pokemon Stadium Series. I've always loved the Pokemon games, and I think one of my very first games that I actually owned my own self was Pokemon Blue version, but the step to 3D and N64 absolutely blew my little kid-ass mind. Seeing my boy Articuno flying around, shooting nice at enemies in 3D, made tears leak from my freaking little kid eyes. I don't fighting gym leaders in those amazing freaking mini games. Oh my goodness, they mini games. Oh my god. You could even use the transfer pack to transfer Pokemon that you earned from the Game Boy games onto your N64. Actually, I, I think I'm about to go play that right now. Yeah, I'm about to go play. Super Smash Brothers. I lost a lot of friends playing this game. Ah. <laughs> this was like the breakout fighting game that got everybody wanting to get their hands on it when it first came out. Sporting a wide range of characters and even containing some super secret ones, Super Smash Brothers is a game every Nintendo fan has just got to love. The stage design to the story mode, or arcade mode I should say, to fighting Master Hand, just everything about this game screamed an amazing time. Except for Metal Mario. Fuck that guy. Super Mario 64. I keep holding on to hope that, that someday a game will come along and give me the same warm fuzzy feelings that Super Mario 64 did. See, at the beginning of the game, Mario is invited to Princess Peach's castle for some cake. Somebody say cake? Diddy Kong Racing. All right, Mario Kart was going to be in my top list, but I actually liked Diddy Kong Racing loads more and actually felt like it was a better game. 
Featuring an awesome lineup of characters to play as, including Conquer the Squirrel from Conquer's Bad Fur Day and Banjo from Banjo Kazooie, this game was absolutely awesome. There were different islands to race on, as well as three different vehicles to choose from, even including a hovercraft, which I think only recently Mario Kart decided to do. <laughs> I feel as though this was a better game than Mario Kart in the grand scope of things, and I ultimately liked it moreover than their Nintendo's official racer, I guess you could say. Damn, they don't make them like this anymore. Paper Mario. One of the best RPG games that I have ever played. Paper Mario went away from its classic platforming formula and went more towards the RPG route, turning the world of Mario into paper craft goodness. Meeting allies that help you fight to gaining skills and increasing your badges and actually rescuing Princess Peach yet again. Paper Mario was one of the best Mario spin-offs that I've ever even had the chance of playing in my gaming career. Indigestions. But uh, yeah, that, that game had me moist. Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark was better than GoldenEye 007. <laughs> yeah, I said it. You wanna fight about it? You wanna fight? I truly believe that Perfect Dark was actually ahead of its time for what it was. Being a sort of spiritual successor to Rare's GoldenEye 007, Perfect Dark starred you as Joanna Dark and featured many of the same gameplay elements that GoldenEye did. That was until you slapped your expansion pack in that muff. The game expanded not only graphically, but feature-wise as well including a full co-op story mode, an expanded multiplayer game mode with more guns, more challenges, and ways to play. Perfect Dark was the ultimate first person shooter on the Nintendo 64, and I believe it was the best one. And I will say that right now. It's one I spent hours and hours and hours playing as a kid. It's just so unfortunate that the, uh, the sequel was pretty much ass in a glass. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda series. Nothing has to be said. These games, are the best games of all time. If you don't agree with me, you can delicately suck my ass. Honorable mentions. Jet Force Gemini, and then some freaking Golden Knights. Star Fox 64, Nintendo better give me my Chef's Love Shack. Pokemon Snap, Conker's Bad Fur Day, I played that yesterday. Mischief Makers, bringing in the paper. Banjo Kazooie, shoot. Banjo Tooie or Kirby, Mario Kart, Donkey Kong, and all that. Chameleon Twist, this was the honorable rap. Uh, uh, uh. 